Hello guys, we are still talking about what is going on, what is trending in Nigerian politics. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depending on your location at this time of the day. Okay guys, I have this uh, quick update to share with you. Uh, we already know what Tinibu is into. I'm talking about the case of this um, uh, drug of a thing uh, that has been exposed by... Um, one of the top respected investigative journalists. I'm talking about uh, David Hundeyen. Now, the money, I don't know how to say it, but I believe you guys has been following the trend. Remember, Tinibu says um, the huge amount of money he had in his account because uh, from the case, Tinibu claimed that um, he was working with a, a company called um, Deloitte. Okay, that was how he had some bonuses uh, that amount to, I think, $1.8 million that was um, seen in his account. So far, Tinebu was um, a treasurer working with Mobile. So um, his payment was about $2,000 plus. But people were asking, how come he has so much money he had to deposit about $1.8 million in his account? What was the source of the funds? Okay, so Tinebu claimed that uh, it was some um, bonuses from a company called Deloitte. So David Hundeyen had to, you know, write to the company to, you know, go through the database uh, to check if so so person Tinebu was working with them. And the company had to reply. You know, those people, they are not like Nigerians. If you need inquiry, clarification for anything, they will give you a reply on that. Okay, so they had to reply that there was no record found, nobody with that name Tinebu working with them or whatsoever. I mean, I don't know what to say. Now, this is what Nigerians, it is going to affect Tinebu like seriously. It is going to affect Tinebu presidential um, candidacy, let me put it that way. Because Nigerians need a leader you should hold accountable. Not a leader that everything about him looks suspicious. Not a leader that has a questionable character. That is just it. Because if Tinebu should come out telling us, I work in social company, and the company now come out to say, hey, uh, we cannot find such person ever working with us. How do you want Nigerians to trust you? Of course, yes, we know that election in Africa, not only Nigerians, is always based on propaganda. That is the more reason these people have nothing to nail Peter Obi. They never talk about uh, Peter Obi uh, embezzlement. They are now talking about Peter Obi investment. They are talking about, they never talked about uh, Peter Obi saving when he was an Ambra state governor. They never talk about that. They are now talking about Peter Obi investment. Why have they not come out to say, this is how much Peter Obi stole? This is how much Peter Obi embezzled when he was the Anambra state governor? They never talk about that. I believe that should be a very good propaganda against Peter Obi. But now they are talking about Peter Obi investment. What to nothing? That Peter Obi only invested in breweries. I mean, you should be able to understand the difference. People are not fools. Nigerians are not fools. The few ones that are fools are the ones that are being brainwashed by these people. Now, look at what Tinibu has gotten himself into. So if all these things happens to be a lie, David Undayen had made a documentary, about 30-minute documentary, exposing uh, this Tinibu's drug case. I think I'll put the link of that documentary on the description for you guys to watch. Now, is this the leader? Like I told you guys, politics is a game of interest, okay? You don't force people to support whoever they want to support. But I believe Nigerians need a leader they can hold accountable with. So now, how do Tinibu and his supporters explain this? That the person they are supporting, I'm not saying nobody should support Tinibu, okay? But how will you explain this to the public, to others, that your principal, the person you are supporting, have a questionable character? Okay, guys, I quickly want to update you. 
uh, what is going on. So I'm going to keep you guys posted as um situation on full. So make sure you subscribe, turn on your bell notification so you get updates whenever I publish new video for you guys. See you in another update.